All right, here we are a couple of days later, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to lay out the other end of this brace. This is the one I did uh, two days ago. And as I had mentioned, the uh, other end of it, the joint is a little bit different because it's not on a 45 degree angle. If it were on a 45, both ends of the brace would be identical. But uh, it's not at a 45. So I thought I'd show some layout on this one also. Uh, and as you can see, I'm using a different digital protractor. This one is 14 inches long. Uh, both sides of it. And uh, hoping to get some uh, a little bit better measurements out of it rather than the short one I was using the other day. What I'll do is I'll show another quick look at the plans and what I plan on doing and then I'll set the camera up on the tripod and show a little bit of the layout. What I'm going to do is get on the end of my timber and this is my reference face on this side. Oh, there it is, right there. And I'm going to take this measurement here of 3 and 3 sixteenths from this reference corner up to this point. And I'm going to put a little mark on the end of my timber and then I'm going to come back with this angle measurement which would be 64.8 degrees from this mark back and then this line and this line equals a 90 degree angle right here but I'll probably come off of this face here and line up my protractor on this point and draw it out to the edge of the timber that would be 25.2 degrees. <clears throat> and then what I'll do is I'll double check myself with the big framing square and uh, check it for a 90 degree angle. But I should get better measurements with the longer protractor being that I have 14 inches to work with here instead of uh, 5 or 6 inches with the other protractor. Okay, I'm going to start laying it out. I've already drawn my line from the corner back, 3 and 3 sixteenths. And I'm going to go from this point back this way, 64.8 degrees. <clears throat> when I set my protractor on 64.8, it forced me to have to come here to take my measurement. My timber is 1 and 1 eighth of an inch, and I didn't want to do that. I want to measure off of my reference corner because I'm not six inches even. So what I did was I took, used my calculator and I deducted 64.8 degrees which is what I want. I deducted it from 180 degrees and that gives me 115.2 degrees. So I set my protractor at 115.2 degrees and then I can come back to my reference corner and take my measurement off of it on this piece here. Now I need 25.2 degrees. I'm zeroed out.
I'm going to set it at 25.2 degrees. And I'm going to take this measurement here. And what I'm going to do is grab my frame and square and check my 90. And it looks like I'm right on it for 90 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and lay out for my tenon, which is two and a half inches. I'll have a half inch house with a two and a half inch tenon and both braces will meet in the middle of the timber in the post. So I'm going to put me a couple of marks at two and a half inches. And I'm holding my tape at a 90 degree from my line. And then I'll have a half inch housing from here to here. I'm not going to mark the housing. <clears throat> what I prefer, I prefer to not draw a line that don't get cut. So I will cut this triangle all the way off. I will cut this all the way off. That's waste. 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 And the same here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and draw my line down the side of the space here. And the same on this side. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and cut these triangles off. Now I'm going to draw some more lines. Where I'm going to stop my cut. And to lay out my lines for my two inch tenon in the center. So I'm going to drop down and draw a line at uh, two inches I'm going to draw a line at four inches I'm going to draw a line down here where my tenon stops. Then I'll come from my line out to meet up with this one. Two inches, four inches. <clears throat> 